Okay, so friggin' uh, we're here at the friggin' machine shop here. Big, big, big road trip and different things. Shelly Machine and Marine concern you there, so they're gonna help us out, sponsor our, our tractor build. Oh shit, elemental piece. Now what, bud? Friggin' guys got me all upset. He's friggin' got Nelson cheating on me and different things. Friggin' uh, orders gaskets. All of a sudden, the next day he's got gaskets. I call Nelson to get friggin' gaskets. He doesn't know what I'm talking about and friggin' this and that and just friggin' me over and different things. So friggin', go puck yourself, Nelson. You and friggin' all owner peas have a friggin' stovepipe baby for frig sakes all I care. And friggin', uh, I'll get, you know, and these friggin' dicks, they don't even have a fill that I gotta run away from every time he friggin' shows up on account of he'll friggin' yell out me for pilfering his hoard scrap pile of different things so yeah go fuck yourself bud and uh different things and then when it's a big big race and i freaking totally smash you with all my austiners freak parts that i got from my buddies at the machine shop you can go freak yourself so anyways we were just in crap nadian tire and they got all this halloween shit set up right and i go around the corner and there's like this plastic witch that jumps out and goes rah, 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 and stuff like that so i freaking punched it in the face and its face was made out of like rock hard sharper as frig plastic so i hurt my finger frig sakes hey 200 cigars jump out grab this guy's tv we need that yeah well now we're just leaving uh the muffler man in sarnia on x x mouth or whatever the hell the name of the street is there and, oh look at this what do we got Dumb got some ass. sponsorship stickers eh so anyways this is what we got from the muffler man's there this fits nice onto the end there, and he gave me a clamp too for frig sakes. And he gave me some decals. Let's check out the decals he gave me. I can't really see that one too good, but it says uh, Mag. Oh, frig sake, Magnaflow Performance, and I got a Dynamax and a Thrush, and some uh, some more Magnaflow ones for frig sakes. He gave me a bunch of them ones. Friggin' rights he did. And speaking of friggin' decals, I got some mails today from uh, a guy you might know. Oh, well, 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 what do we have here? You dizzy, 1969. Beg my part. So anyways, I'm all worked up and stuff, friggin'. I don't know what to do. I called uh, Nelson this afternoon and I asked him what's wrong. And he got all mad at me and defensive and stuff. So I'm, I'm sure he's friggin' cheating on me. That's, that's just about positive for me. So I'm going to go there this week and, and confront him about it for frig's sake. See what he's got to say. But oh, I, I got the brake going. I couldn't get the cigarette off. I'll just show you. So, this little stupid thing is really seized onto the shaft. Yeah, I heated her up. My, my, my acetylene's missing. I ain't got none left. So, it's just heating it up with the propanes there. And then I got onto the end with the air machine. Where is it? Down there. You get onto the end with one of them air machines. And, uh, in the end, and you know, 17 times out of four, it'll come off. But not this time. So there's enough meat on the pads to just give her a little bit of brakes and I don't have any new ones anyway. I was going to take like a truck brake pad or something that's still got a little bit of meat and just cut a little cube out of it and stab it in there. But this is what I come up with for the brake. This is a brake lever antler out of the Arians, but I don't know how they had it set up. But uh, maybe my demonstrator can demonstrate. Eh? Problem, maybe we can buddy. demonstrate. Anytime. And then, uh, so you know, you, you, you give her a little tug. And see how that's loose and the brake is still loose so we got we got clutch in a little bit the belts the belts loose and the brakes loose and then we give her full bore and then we got the brakes the brakes tightened up see and then let it go and then it'll turn and then tighten it up and then it and then it locks and then the belts loose brakes locked you know but just before the brakes lock the belt's still loose so you don't you know you give her all the way brakes I'm almost all the way, no brakes, but clutch still. So friggin' right that works. So, uh, yeah. Oh, it's here for 200 cigarettes, uh, demonstrator extraordinaire. Oh, bonjour, curtsy, different things, classy fella. But anyways, we, we friggin', uh, we tried some fitments on this guy. This is what I'm hoping to uh, have stabbed in there. I did get a piece of Zoss pipe, as you, as you know, but uh, that's only one. You know, and it's going to be a different size. See, this is a lot smaller cigarette, so I, I, I'd want to keep her, keep her relatively similar to this size until it joins into the twin cigarette, and then we'll go to that size. You know what I mean? So I might have like a bicycle handlebar or something I can, you know, it's already got a bend into it, and uh, we'll cut that stupid can off because it's right in the road. This guy here too, this this guy right here, kinks right into the friggin cigarette for the steering so that's no good at all so we'll have to friggin put an elbow into it you know maybe cut cut and then weld 
you know what I mean? It'll be more awesomer, but uh, I think what's gonna happen here is the friggin' 16 horse that's over there is gonna end up going to Elemental P's on account of his top friggin' shaft cigarettes. It's all floppy like a hot dog down a cigarette. So, you know, he my friend and stuff, so I'll let him have this one. We'll trade, I'll trade him a good one for broken one. And then, you know, but I need parts off and stuff. He's got carbonator starter, this, that, everything else, tins and shit. And then I don't got tins for that one over there. So I'll use the tins off the 16, but really it's an 18. And this one's got the oil filter onto it, if you'll notice. If you'll notice, it's got the oil filter. So that means it's got an oil pump. So that means it should be able to pump it into a turbo. So that'd be awesome. But, you know, we'll get her going first and make sure it's all cigarette because the guy... This is a twenty-five dollar one, right? I traded by the carbonator. Guy sold me whole engine, twenty-five dollars. So, but you know, the top, you know, I don't know. I can't do it right now because I'm tired. But you wiggle the top on elemental peas, and it's all wiggly. The the whole spiel eh, is wiggly. So that's no good. That's what his knocking noise is, eh? What happens at Millard season? Don't come near me. <laughs> Anyways, check out the fitment on my belt uh, cigarette. This come off when we did the test run there. So uh, I took uh, one of these flat pieces of flat stocks over there and I just bent one up. And you can see she fits on there pretty good. You know, I'll leave, I'll leave a little bit of schlack in there. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Man, right in my friggin' mouth. But so, you know, I'll mark it and then cut it. You know, and then probably just meet the ends out a little bit, like just a little what, what. I might not even cut it. I might just do the what, what thing. You know what I mean? And then it'll give the belt a little to instead of the right digging into the edge sort of thing. And then I'll just weld a little thing, weld a little thing, drill a hole, drill a hole, and then bolt that on there. And then that'll be like you know a belt cigarette. And then the front one, I don't know. I don't think that'll come off, but. Never know, might have to cigarette something up for that, but uh, you know, I'll just do the same thing down here. Just uh, cut the friggin' most of the threads off a, off a bolt and weld the nut to the thing and then just tighten it right into the, the chassis. And then you just got the smooth part that, you know, your belt will rub against. Let me see, down there, kind of what I'm talking about. So apologize for the light, but this is the $50 Traptor and it's got a plow onto it, so we gotta take that off you know, we can lower it and get the hood open, show you the engine into it, but it's just like every other pose twin, so there's no need, and we lower the thing, and then we'd have to put a battery onto it to get it back up, because it's got the electric cigarette, but anyways, this is an 18 opposed cigarette as well, but I'm thinking, this, this Traptor's pretty awesome, or how it sits, I'll just take the plow off this, put it with the Craftsman that I got, Craftsman blade, Craftsman friggin' lawnmower, sell it, you know, for winter tying, different things. And uh, we'll just do a pulley swap on this and clean it up a little bit and uh, do the friggin' oil mods to the engine and stuff so we don't blow it up and rev the ball sack off her and have like, you know, off-road romping cigarette rather than a racer. And probably the awesomest thing about this Traptor, that's a one inch, one inch axle shaft. So, I think you can see how wide that back gear is. So, I think that's uh, 820, 820 peerless, but I could be mistaken, but I'm probably not. I figure I should be able to pull five or six hundred bucks out of that friggin' uh, Craftsman, and it was here when I got the friggin' building, and the plow come on the $50 trapper, so that's, that's pretty good. So anyways, uh, you can look forward to a Confront Nelson for cheating on me video sometime this week, probably. And, uh, you know, Nelson and Stovepipe, they're kind of like Randy and Leahy, if you know what I mean. So I really hope Elemental Peas isn't into that, because that, that's pretty dicked, bud. So anyways, boys, uh, one step closer to the cigarette, got the brakes in, so that's awesome. Like I said before, I, I need pads, though, on account of the friggin', they're pretty much down to the nubs. But I do got brakes. They friggin' work, so friggin' rights. So don't forget to check out OnePugGuy.com. On the sponsors page there, there are different sponsors, sponsor plug one tractor and different things. And don't forget to check out Carphonics' uh, website there. He's got all new website, brand new. It's got like, uh, you know, all, all new. It's awesome or friggin', you know, all the installs and the different products that they sell and stuff like that. So friggin' go check that out. And don't forget to, uh, to like his Facebook page and he's almost there. I don't think he's got probably a couple hundred more to go and uh, we'll be giving away that uh, shirt and some decals and different things. 
And if you're ever in the Ingersoll area, go check out his shop. It's uh, not too bad, not too bad. Friggin' all the displays and the friggin' he's got a lift in there and stuff so he can friggin' you know, get her done. So anyways, I'll get the camera plugged in and this and that and work more on the chapter and edit this movie and a bunch of different things and then I'll friggin' go to bed and wake up in the morning and do it all over again. So there you go, another Dicker Pug One production. So until tomorrow. Oh, the watchers get you.